Hello, um, today we are going to be looking around the Dell PowerEdge 2950. Um, we now have two of these, so that means we will be able to have a look at the virtualization options within the server tutorial series. series. Um, so I'm just going to open one because they are exactly the same. These are ninth generation servers. They're the ones that were released with um, the virtualization enabled for them. So here we have the front bezel and um, the indication front uh, LCD panel. It's not really L I don't know. It's not LCD, is it? I don't know. Um, a lock works and we can just pull this off here these servers are the I think they're the first ones that allowed you to come have them come with the 2.5 drives uh, or the 3.5 drives so both of them have 2.5 drives and they're all um, SATA we just pull out easier like this they're a lot easier to push in and remove you can see they're the SATA drives. They're all 15,000 RPM and they're 73 gigs each. Um, we actually get a DVD ROM this time. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't have to use the external drive, DVD drive, to install anything. So that's good. And at the back. We have um, two hot swap power supplies. Um, that black wire there is like a status LED thing for the back. Two network ports as usual. And um, they've got the Dell remote access cards in them. These are the uh, DRAC5 cards. And they have a total of, I think, three expansion slots to get the lid off we have to undo this lock here which is actually already undone how look at me I undid it I undid it before I started the video so we just pull this up and it undoes it like that which is a lot easier than the old servers So, inside the server we have the RAID card there, which, and there's the RAID battery, and these cables here connect to the back plane, and then this one connects to this back plane over here, and then we've also got this cable here which is for the DVD drive. This looks like a SCSI cable, and this comes all the way along around the shroud for the CPUs and plugs into this back plane here. Um, we've got an extra Molex power connector, and that draws power off of the hard drive back plane and they also take power off that for the DVD drive. Have a look here, we've got um, four hot swappable fans which for the CPUs, which just pull out like that. And slot in like that. And the shroud here comes up. Um, I think we have to we have to take this shroud here off first. This is for the RAM. So it's all connected and it just opens up like that. Sometimes it's probably easier if you um, unconnect these these cables first. That's a lot better, isn't it? You 
um, just open them up and then it pushes the cable out for you. You don't have to um, pull it out, which is a lot easier. So that's, that's a good thing about this one. So here you can see we've only got one CPU installed. And there's um, four RAM, four RAM sticks, and that's a total of eight gigabytes of RAM. And then uh, we've got some heat sinks there. There's our uh, car. It's dark. Well, there, here, is the riser card for the PCI slots. Um, they're PCIe times eight, and there's two of them. If I have a torch. I'll show them. It would be a lot e bit easier to see. Here is where the hot swap or um, power supplies are. Um, there's a tow key there. I'm not too sure what that is. I have to Google that. That's a tow two. If anyone knows what that is. And then here we have the drag card, and that also looks like that's PCIe compatible as well, but that fits in there nicely. And there's also another PCIe riser card there for the slot. So that is about it for the Dell PowerEdge 2950 server. As I say, I've got two of these. So, when I get round to it, um, we'll do some VMware stuff and um, some Hyper-V stuff. Um, why it would do it in 2008R2 for the Windows Server as well as Windows Server 2000, um, 2012, which has just come out. Um, to be honest with you, I quite like the 2012. Um, 2000, the What's it called? Windows two, Windows 8. What am I trying to say 2008? Windows 8 looks relatively okay. But, I mean, I started using it and then I got frustrated. And so that was... That was me. Um, giving up on Windows 8 for a bit. I'm going to have to try and get this back in. Oh, this has got rubber on it here. That's quite cool. I didn't know that. Hey, look. Blimey. Here we go. These things here push down. It looks like it might actually be. I don't know. How can I get better light? You see there. They push down. I have a feeling that the RAM sits on them. And if there is a RAM card in it, will push it down. That's quite clever. I did not know it did that. There we go. Now I've got to try and get it back in. Um, <laughs> this could be tricky with one hand. So I don't know what it's getting stuck on getting stuck on something. It's not lined up properly. Oh, have I done it? Not entirely. Oh well. Um. Yeah, it does. It sits. It sits on the rack. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, so there we go. Ow. Ow. There's the, um, that's the PowerEdge 2950 server. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah, well, I'm kind of back. Um, I forgot to turn it on. Just, uh, let's turn it on. Let me hear what it sounds like. So, there we go, um, what I'll do is, when it's posted, 
I will open the top up and hopefully all the fans should spin up to their higher setting and you can hear how loud it is. Um, sure, I'll turn the other one on as well. See the drives are spinning up now. Right, let's take the top off. What did I do this? There it is. Put the screwdriver. a bit like a jet engine so um, I'll do the same to the other one and you hear how noisy it is and just slide it back in There we go. That's what it sounds like when both the, both the um, servers are on and they get quite hot. It kind of gets this noisy. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, video of the two nine fifties, and um, we'll do some virtualization stuff soon. But not too soon because I'm very busy. But that's what. Oh, I missed it out. That there's the RAM for the um, RAID. I think that's about it. Oh, I could pull one of the um, power supplies out. I have to take, I have to um, move all the other servers because I can't get to it. It's a bit of a pain. Because I've got the server rack right, right next to the wall. And then to um, put the lid back on. Noisy. Right, I've pulled them all out. And you can see. No, you can't. That sucks. Um, how can you see this? Right. One moment. Ugh. Aha! Lamp. Right, so, you can see the um, cable management arms there. They're all connected to the rails. The cable's not long enough. Hopefully. Right. So. Still can't see. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Now we can see, these are the power supplies for two 950s and they pull out easy enough by just the 
table and um, these orange things you, know, you just move them out a little bit you pull the black thing that pushes them out and you can pull the plastic ones out and then when you want to put them back you just push them in and that is it you don't have to um, screw them in like the 2850s there all you have to do is just use that little um, orange pattern once. So that's quite cool. And um, this black, where is it? Yeah, this black wire here that you saw, um, there's a flashing light down there. See that? That's what that does. It's just like an extension lead so that when you're at the back of the silver rack, all you've got the silver pulled out, you can see which one it is. That's quite clever. So, we just plug the power power cable back in. That is it for the 2950s Vario video this time. I know I've said that about three times now, but the, this is actually it. Um, well, thank you for watching the video. And look, there's, there's them all pulled out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.